The Patriots have selected Drake May with a third overall pick. Drake May is now a Patriot. Okay, there we go. So, Burt Breer uh, letting you know there on the Burt phone that Drake May will be the Patriots' future quarterback here as they are going to take him with the third overall pick. Again, Drake May uh, is a New England Patriot with the third overall pick. So, was there any, any anticipation there? Uh, was there anything there in the minutes leading up to where you thought, you know what, maybe they will trade out of this, or do we feel pretty confidently this is the direction that All the it? conversations I had today indicated that nobody had stepped to the plate. Now, it'll be fascinating to find out, which I'm sure Albert will try to do from the Vikings people. Just what was your offer? What did the Giants and Brian mm-hmm. Dayball and Joe Schoen offer? And to me, it's interesting, too, Brian, if a guy like Dayball yeah. or Kevin O'Connell is sniffing around the hindquarters of Drake May, should that make the Patriots even more convinced that Drake May is their quarterback? Well, I think that helps. I think those are guys who, you know, we talk about, you know, quarterback-minded coaches, you know. So if they're looking at him and saying, wow, that's the guy I want, I think that's obviously beneficial. But that's also them believing in him, how they can coach him, too. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, one thing also, I'm, I'm curious. What are we going to see from Drake May? What's, what's the walkout like? Everything else? Remember? Mac Jones had that, yeah. that strut that, that lived on as like an internet meme forever. That, that video he was a walking him. meme, head to toe, all the way <laughs> through. Kind of was, was, yeah, unfortunately. We even the field with a bad ankle or oh, some bars or <laughs> poor bugger. But uh, you'll be seeing Drake May uh, coming up on your uh, television screens there on your second screen as he's walking his way up to the front there. So he's going to be the third overall pick for uh, the New England Patriots. Um, is this... It feels like everyone's in consensus. This is the right move. I know that yeah. there were some entertaining there that they could trade down, but they should feel good about this. I think now, like the the thing is just doing right by the kid. Right. You know, like I think that that's the most important thing. So many of these guys get screwed up because they're in bad environments, and I just. You know, I've said it before, like there are very few guys who are good enough to overcome bad circumstances. I think Andrew Luck might be one example, Mm -hmm. but they ruined him in the end. If you look at like a lot of the guys, and I'm not saying Mahomes wouldn't have gotten there or Allen wouldn't have gotten there or Burrow wouldn't have gotten there. But what you see with those guys is consistent, good coaching, good players around them. And so now it's on the Patriots to do the rest of the job, which is surround the kid with a good environment so he can grow in the right way. I think he's built well for New England, too. I think he's Mm – this is – when we talk about all the elements of these first-round picks and the latter-day quarterbacks and, and the new generation, I said earlier tonight on Early Edition, how many of the tweets that you've seen from Drake made make you go, oh, man, zero, because I don't think you've ever seen a Drake made tweet. I think he is built to be here in terms of he's not rabbit ears, he's not um, enmeshed with social media. Brian, you've been in the league. You are still in the league. You haven't mm-hmm. retired yet. Mm-hmm. What is the makeup necessary to play quarterback in New England with this climate? Yeah, I think that's huge. I think like everything you touched on, I think you have to come, you know, come to work as a young guy with with a veteran in the room already, learn from him, put the work in, show the guys that you're putting the work in. Because really, when you when you're 21 years old and you're walking into a room full of men, like the best way to earn the respect is to go out there and show them. Go be there early, stay late, be in the meetings. When, when it comes to OTAs, call the play clearly, execute the play, and just stack them, you know, one after another. And I think you build that foundation and, and you know, like, like Bert said, like, do, the, do right by the kid. Don't rush him. You know, and if he progresses, I think that was the thing that I saw as, as you know, Max rookie year was he progressed day after day. And I remember thinking, like, man, they must be telling him, you know, hey, on this play, throw it, throw it here. Or this is mm-hmm. the coverage. Because he did so well and he progressed. And the guys were like, wow. We can see him being our quarterback. So, you know, does Drake May come in and do that? I don't know. Mac came from a very pro-style offense. He was coached really well. I, I don't know. But if he does, then you progress him. But if not, then you let him sit there, you learn, and, you know, you keep building those building blocks. And then whenever, it, you know, it, it comes, then the time comes. All right. Uh, we want to hear from you guys as well. What grade would you give the Patriots pick of Drake May uh, going at third overall? Vote in our poll by going to NBCSportsBoston.com slash Patriots votes or scan the QR code on the screen. And uh, scroll down to the poll question there, obviously, uh, A, B, C, D, F. Pretty straightforward how you feel uh, about that. And we'll be uh, revisiting that coming up later in the show. But the name to know is presented by John Sewer and Drain Cleaning. The name to know when the drains don't flow. And telling you all about Drake May, the youngest of four brothers in an athletic family. Uh, His father played quarterback. He was an All-American. Brother Luke May played basketball in North Carolina. And uh, so he will be, of course, the future quarterback here of I need to the hear New from England. I on this. I Patriots. need to hear from That's Felger what we're Holly going to do. Johnson. We're sending it right That's over to him. Quarterback. We're sending it right over to him right now. Mike? All right. Uh, we're here. Drake May uh, is a New England Patriot. Uh, let's, how do we feel about it? 
Ted Johnson, how do you feel about it? Look, I'm, Drake May's the guy. I, I, I'm okay with it. Look, I mean, ideally, in a, in a perfect world, you trade back, you get a bunch of picks, you get a big haul, and you, and you get the, uh, Michael Penix. That's that was my that would be my number one choice. I think Michael Penix. Uh, is going to, you know, over time will show you that he's the better quarterback. But they needed to come away with a quarterback. They, they got, they got you know, uh, I think the, the safest pick. I mean, I think it's, the, it's what most of the fans wanted. It's what most people think is has the highest upside uh, over J.J. McCarthy. And so, um, to me, it was the safest pick. Uh, and, and I'm okay that they came away with the quarterback. It's just not the quarterback I wish they would have gotten. Well, but nonetheless, they, they, they had to get a quarterback, Mike. It's the safest play in the court of public opinion. Most Patriots Correct. fans wanted them to stick and take Drake May, so they've made fans happy. So it's safe like that. You know, more people think that J.J. McCarthy is a safer player, higher floor. Right. So I don't know if it was the safest actual player that they could have taken. Uh, I'm okay with it, too. You know, again, you just were a bad team. You had the third pick, so you took the third quarterback. And now you're going to hand them to your linebackers coach and JAG offensive coordinator with not much of a roster. It's really not a recipe for success. So, like, the whole thing, I'm not all that high on. I see his traits. I see his size. I see what he can do. A lot of uh, the upside word is absolutely that. He's a big play guy. Should be interesting. But, yeah. I, okay. I've been, I'm excited about it. I've been talking about it for about a month. Uh, two words. And they, and they finally came through. I kept saying, take Drake. Take Drake. So I think they went through their mock debates. Uh, hey, what would it be like if we took J.J. McCarthy there at three? What would it be like if we traded back and took McCarthy at seven or eight or whatever it is? Uh, you know, maybe we get our, you know, Michael Penix and your plan, Ted. But I think after you just crunch all the numbers and you put it all together, Drake may, it's not really a safe pick because of all the work that he has to do. And Ted, you, you ain't got five years to figure this out. So let's say Drake May, let's say this is a redshirt year. And let's say you go 6-11. and 11. You're, you're still on the clock. It's still the NFL. It's not like you're like, oh, yeah, we'll just take our time. It's not safe. The safer pick is to take Michael Penix, who's 35 years old, and is ready to play right now. That's the safer one because he's ready to play now. No, 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 but no. But Drake no. May is going to be better than Michael it's, Penn. It's the safest pick because it's the pick that everybody expected the Patriots to take uh, at, at this at this pick. And I also think that they've been preaching patience, patience, patience. They 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 want to take their time. They're, they're picking a kid that they know that they're not going to play right away because they they got us all convinced this is going to take a long time to rebuild this thing up. So he kind of fits that. But who's saying that? that they're idea. not saying. But nobody's saying that. Everybody hey, saying. Robert, Robert saying Kraft at the owners meeting said, "I think, hey, I hope we don't struggle. I hope we're good." Hey, we got a good team. I think we got a good team. That's Robert Kraft saying that. that that's, that he said that. Are you, are you, but you, you also hear them say it's going to take time. I don't time. believe it's it, but he pay- said it. Uh, well, they, look, I've, I've, I'm hearing more people say that, hey, have patience. It's going to take time. This rebuild isn't going to happen overnight. And to me, Drake May just kind of fits that perfectly for them. When I say safest, I just think it was – the obvious choice is to take Drake May. So that's why I say it was the safest pick. You know, to me, to, if you wanted to really have, have some guts and really you know, show something, you would have traded back and maybe taken uh, J.J. McCarthy a little bit later, gotten more draft picks or, or, or Michael Penix. I'm just not so think, sure but, but yeah, that they were guts. like 100% sold on this guy. To me, it was the safest pick in the court of a public opinion, which you know the owner's a big fan Sure, of. but you say guts. Do you really think you, – you think that um... – J.J. McCarthy is a better quarterback than Drake May? Later, you later, I'm saying later in the draft. I'm saying later in the draft. Not at number three. Uh, not number three, but, Drake but, May okay, the obvious but let's choice. Say take draft I, mean, I think J.J. McCarthy is closer than most do. I think Tommy said last week he'd take J.J. McCarthy okay. over. I, and and I, I've watched him a lot. I just don't see it with uh, J.J. McCarthy. I don't see it. Uh, I've watched his entire – I've watched all of those 28 games, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> of his career, 27-1. and one. Look, you know, good, good quarterback. But I, I think, I think May also, and this is the, this is why I like him, because we've heard so much about his problems, but we haven't heard what he does well. He's got all the traits, and he has done more with less compared to. And I heard Brian say, yeah, he liked Jaden Daniels. Okay, Jaden Daniels, good for him. Left Arizona State and got himself into a perfect situation where Malik Neighbors' name is going to be coming up tonight pretty soon. That's a first-round pick. Brian Thomas Jr., his name's going to be coming up soon. That's a first-round pick. And Brian Kelly as your head coach. Uh, You know, pretty good situation. And you're 24. So what is Drake May going to look like at 24 when he has more around him? Brought to you in part by John's Sewer and Drain Cleaning. 
the name to know when the drains don't flow.